The world changes, but America remains the same in serving our European friends. More NATO troops, more arms, and LNG contracts. Rain or shine, your needs are mine. Cut. I like how we mess things up and pretend we are running to fix them. Any suggestions, Frank? You know it will be my political debut in Europe. I can practically hear champagne cocks popping in Washington and Wall Street. What's the title of your speech? United Friends of America. I do miss the special relationship during pre-Brexit days. Whisper in London's ears, and things in Brussels will be clear. The Brits don't like that term, actually. They said it encouraged their prime ministers to behave like poodles. Really? I like how their politicians and media have barked at China for us, like the BBC. Oh, we also take questions from the media. Yeah, just not sure if the German reporters will grill me over the Nord Stream explosion. You could always insist pro-Ukraine groups were behind. The honeymoon between Germany and Russia used to be a pain in our neck, so it not just separated, but it burst them. Let there be no Nord Stream, but German tanks rolling against Russia. So I had better mind the French journalists, not the German ones. I mean, Macron is just like the unmelted sugar in a mug at home, ruining our taste. He's like. Europe should not become the vassal of this or that power. France has trended this strategic autonomy thing for a long time, actually. For years or decades? Over half a century. I don't care about their rhetoric. We just let them try the reality. Like removing their billions dollars worth of submarine deal and military helicopter deal. If necessary, we could even remove French politicians. By coup? Not when you have political WMDs at hand. Our five eyes are not there for nothing. Interesting. So what's left to Europe that needs attention then? When you've smoothed the stones, cannot the scatter say. But do get prepared. They bargain with you over the Inflation Reduction Act. Companies are leaving Europe, and Europeans go like, "This act is an existential threat. You guys are aggressive and protectionist." As if they have never seen us do that before. Whatever they say, promise nothing other than we'll try to tweak it. Rest assured, Frank, I am counting on that act for an EV belt of ballot. We should also talk about my special mission. To sabotage the remaining Nord Stream. <laughs> the remaining China-Europe ties. You know, the Belgian PM has accused us of bullying the Netherlands. For stopping their chip equipment exports to China, that must be an exception. I mean, normally we don't bully a European country; we bully Europe as a whole. But seriously, did the Belgians just realize that? Perhaps they still use 2G. 2G or 5G, I don't care, as long as it's not operated on Chinese telecom equipment. You gotta for the stop Europe from using. Oh, Frank, you don't want me to go on a twenty-plus policy disruptions mission, do you? And shout five hours each like Matthew Pottinger. There are numerous ways of having people back down. Shouting is just like a toddler. In Denmark, we give local media a choice: you terminate use of Chinese routers, or we terminate subscription. That sounds like coercion. I call it. Persuasion with a punch, but persuade first with pretty words, like national security concerns. If only the CIA could produce more evidence, or why would they give up something good and cheap? When's your flight? I should get going. I wish you good luck. Or shine, your needs are mine. Now some questions, please. Uh, Madam, would your administration regulate the price of LNG export to its allies to match that in your country? 
It's currently three times higher here. We believe in shared values for more in free economy. Next question. Are the export consumers in your country very hate against China inconsistent with your theory to free trade? We believe in free trade for more in shared values. Okay, time's up. That makes our politicians exceptionally their man. We always uphold principles, even though our principles are always self-contradictory.